Hey friends, Karen Basket DIYer here. Okay, you guys, so it has definitely been a minute since I did a crazy fun, who knows how it's gonna go Tumblr tutorial, meaning um, I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. So this very Tumblr that I have for you today, um, I'm calling it the ugly duckling because when you see how it started out and how terrible it was and then here it is now, I think you will agree that, um, yeah, transformations can happen. So um, if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Be prepared for a fun ride today. If you are a regular, thank you so much. You know how it goes. So just stay tuned, follow along, and I'll walk you through the steps and show you how I ended up with this one. Okay, so the only reason I'm showing you these steps here in the beginning is because I want you to know that it is okay to mess up. And um, I don't believe in stripping cups. I believe in coming up with a new plan for them and moving forward. So as you can see, I got universal white on this cup and glitter and it was super streaky and awful looking. But I just pushed through it thinking that I could make it better and I bright toned over it, hated it, decided to turn it into a wood grain, bright toned over it, hated it again, and now I am on to plan C. So here's what's happening now. Okay, you guys, I have been on the struggle bus with this tumble. So going for something totally different that I've never done before. I'm going to be doing the crackle look on this with Elmer's glue and flipping off some pure white. Wish me luck. This did not go very well at all. I got way too much Elmer's glue on there and then when I added my paint it was dragging and drying too fast and cracking too quick and looking so terribly awful. Okay, so that was absolutely horrid. Just took paper towels, wiped it off, and then took it over to my sink and used a scrub brush on it, and I'm starting over. So, try number two. I'm gonna put the glue on thinner this time. Just gonna kind of spread it around first. My brush is a little bit damp, so maybe that'll be good. And I'm just kind of going fast. because you saw how quickly that was drying. Yeah, I hope this does better. If not, I know that it washes off really easily now. <laughs> I don't know what the bottom should look like, so. Okay. There's my paint. I'm just trying to keep going up and down in one direction, up and down with my paint and definitely using really light pressure this time. Um, kind of swirling the bottom like I do on a wood grain and it's definitely crackled and distressed. I'm just gonna let this dry overnight before moving on to my bright tone layers. Here I'm just applying a layer of bright tone now and gonna just do it the hang method. This is basically where you put your bright tone on, very thin, obviously, and then just set it upright to dry. Um, you don't usually have to worry about drips and runs because again, layers are very, very thin. Here it is just after I got that bright tone on it. I wanted to give you a better look at it and better lighting. It's pretty cool looking. I've got my water slide here. It is printed in reverse so or mirrored so that whenever I apply it, I'm just going to be sticking it right on, pulling it off, and I'm using the Hippo water slide paper, which I am really, really loving. It just seems to do really well for me. Now I just have to decide where I want to put it. I think it's gonna go right there on the widest part. Just so I have warm water and I'm just gonna let this soak for a couple of 30 seconds or so. I had sealed that with the rest of the room two times, so that should, you know, keep it sealed really well. Okay, had to grab my paper towel and my little squeegee. Just 
does so well. You always want to wet the surface just a little bit. Yep, I definitely got that crooked. I am so impressed with that paper. Um, it just goes on so easily. And that's it. Now then I just need to let this dry really well, make sure I squeegee out all the water from underneath it, um, and then I can just continue on with my bright tone layers. Okay, you guys, I've told you that I only wear gloves whenever I don't have time to go run wash my hands. So what I'm gonna be doing next, my water slide is nice and dry, so I'm gonna be putting bright tone on, and then down here near the bottom, I hope I don't mess this up, I'm gonna be putting glitter. I'm gonna use um, Jade, which is a holographic chunky mix from Maker Flow, super pretty. I thought about using red, but I really think the green will help pull the tree a little bit. And then fine holographic jade to fill in. So I'm gonna cover most of the bottom with the fine. But anyway, glove is because I don't have time to go wash my hands. It's not because I'm afraid to touch the bright tone. I'm applying it really thin. I mean, I feel like thinner than normal just because I don't want my glitter to try to run or anything. So I'm just spreading it thin. And it tends to dry quick, so I will have to hurry. But I can see that I got it on there because I can see the like, smudges in it. Okay. All right, I hope this is the right choice. I'm doing a, my chunky first, and I'm just gonna kind of waterfall it a little. I don't want it to go up too high. <laughs> it's probably gonna go higher than I want, but. I'm mostly gonna use the fine to just be my fill-in, my filler. Yeah. A little heavier than I wanted, but I gotta get it even now. I feel like I'm so terrible at glitter application. Stop right there. And then just finish it out with the fine. Heavy on the bottom edge. And just slightly ombreing it, I guess. I actually might could put a little sparkle up on the tree. That'd be kind of cute. I will have to do an, a second coat on the bottom because it didn't cover well. But I obviously can't do that till it's dry. And once this is dry, I will probably use glitter glue to do that bottom rim just with the fine glitter to cover that. 
Okay, so I'm just using my glitter glue um, now that this is all nice and dry. And I'm gonna go back over my glitter, just with the fine glitter this time. And then once all of my glitter was dry, I went over the whole cup with a layer of glitter glue to seal and set all the glitter. And then I did my bright tone layers. I completely forgot to record any of that process, but I did have to do several layers of bright tone and then a level sand and then of course a few more layers. Um, but goodness gracious, I so love this cup. I cannot even believe how terrible the whole thing started out. Um, you know, you just never know what you can come up with if you just push through. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you haven't done so yet, I would love for you to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I really do love interacting with you guys. Um, definitely be on the lookout for future Tumblr tutorial notifications. I release videos every Sunday and Thursday at 6 a.m. that are Tumblr related. And then other DIY projects, I do random videos on Tuesdays. Again, thanks so much for watching.